Mobile Saudi Arabia are to provide the communication services for the Smart City project. So I'm here with Mobile's Alal Maki to find out about their involvement in the project. So thanks very much for talking with me today. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm very glad that I'm here in the GSMA and uh, having this speak with you. First of all, tell us about the Smart City project. The Smart City is the King Abdullah city. It's mainly is the Mobile is the pioneer for that. It's the owner of the whole city. Uh, we're trying to provide uh, superior capacity. It's a dream of the king, and it's going to be one of the most important projects for Mobile. Uh, the mainly would like to transfer the city into a smart city uh, from all direction, from the enterprise to the consumer to where we can make the connectivity uh, seamless for the customers. So what are the main trends of the Saudi Arabian communications market at the moment? Well, uh, Saudi Arabia is a special case. It's, uh, mobile internet is considered to be the main entertainment for Saudi. And uh, Saudi Arabia is the highest tweet in the globe. We are more than 33% on uh, penetration, double the US. And uh, we have a huge number of youth and the growth uh, in potential, this is like 65% below the age of 30. And we believe that traffic uh, growth in the mobile internet is uh, quite phenomenal in Saudi Arabia. What are the main challenges you see in bringing this project to life? Bringing this project is going to be quite uh, sophisticated because we have to deploy it in a very short time where we can deploy our equipment and ready to be also shared with others. Uh, we're using a specific kind of uh, antennas, uh, which is called uh, the adaptive uh, antennas unit, which is somehow um, having the RUs uh, embedded uh, in the antenna where the baseband can be somewhere around. Uh, and this is, will give uh, uh, better coverage uh, for, uh, for the sites, uh, easy to deployment, and also uh, to utilize the space on the sites, which uh, give you the leverage and that can be others coming uh, with you. So tell us about the AAU solution. The AAU solution is uh, the trend of the market nowadays. Uh, mobile is considered to be the, one of the first pioneers who's producing this uh, product. Uh, this product basically will reduce the losses, as I said to you previously, on the, on the, on the power and will provide a better coverage. Not only that, we'll use the MIMO in that and the diversity of the power. Uh, which will increase the capacity on the network. Uh, in fact, it's an easy to deploy. It it's have a better capacity because of the MIMO in it. It's utilizing the whole product. So you can have the U900, the GSM, the 3G, and of course the 4G in, in a one uh, antenna platform and giving the customers uh, the benefit of the beamforming which uh, basically the beam forming, which the, the, somehow you could track the customers with the antenna beam and then more focus to the customers uh, and the CPEs, which will reduce the interference uh, and uh, at the end increase the speed of the customers. And why have you chosen to invest in convergent multi-mode based stations? It's, uh, it's two parts, it's the capex and the opex. Definitely with having a one antenna is reducing the capex calls for you and also from operation point of view. So it mainly is the dream of the any operator to reduce the cost of the equipment. Thanks very much for talking with us today. Thank you very much. It was lovely talking to you.